What is up guys, Apathy or Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today and Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hope you're all having a great meal if you're watching this video. You probably, maybe you already ate, you know, hopefully it was delicious. But today, I want to talk a little bit about something. Today's video is going to be a little bit more of a, a thanking video and, and going in depth and going back to my past last year. And I want to just talk to you guys, sort of just, you know, kind of give inspiration, a little bit talk about my past so you guys know what went down and what kind of happened. So who was I last year? I, I Like my fan base sort of died out. I was no longer in phase. I was on rise for the last couple months of Advanced Warfare, you know, going to Black Ops 3, it was looking really slow for me. I, it happened the same thing during the beginning of Ghost, and going to Black Ops 3, it was sort of the same thing. I didn't have any luck, nothing was going my way, you know, I felt like I just needed to put more time, but I decided to put in more time during the end of the game where, at that point, it's not going to make that big of a difference. So, who was I? But as time went on, everyone thought I was washed. I was a washed pro, I was a low tier pro, you know, I was on rise with Wheats, Chino, and Burns. And we were okay squad, but we were kind of considered top 8 to top 12 kind of team. We were, we were nothing special, you know? Going into Black Ops 3, I was able to team with Saints, Sensor, and Dito. Now going into going with this team, I felt like I had a lot of confidence. You know, I was kind of worried about the whole, you know, Doug has this whole YouTube thing going on. He's doing really well in it. And then we had, you know, I don't know, I haven't played with Dito in the longest. And I know the Saints has always been a beast. So I wasn't too worried about Saints. But I was a little bit worried. But I decided to give it a go. It was probably my best bet, you know, to make it into the league. And unfortunately, we did not even make it into season one. We we failed. We got like 3-1 versus um it was versus H2K. And at the time, you know, my whole world just crashed down on me you know I was like I was so excited I was excited to compete again with a pretty good team I was really looking forward into making a season one you know playing my ass off and just being the best again and unfortunately everything just crashed down on me I was in a shitty position and I decided later on you know our team sort of broke up Saints went his own way we didn't qualify again uh, online so we were in the shittiest position ever uh, Center, I told Center and Dino, you know, I'm, I'm going my own way. I'm going to try to make a team with Merc, Burns, and Study. And I figured that was my best bet. You know, we're going to be, we were on Team Liquid, a good organization, and just a good overall team. We had a lot of potential. And this was going to be, this is, this is where I, this is where I make my comeback, right? This is where I started going hard. You know, me and Study were on every single day playing 20, tw not 20, not 20, not 20. We were playing like 12 to 14 hours a day though, dead ass. We were grinding our asses off. We put in so much freaking time. We wanted to be the best. We weren't even in season one, but we were grinding more than the teams that were in the season, you know? And I knew that was the only way I was going to make a comeback. I knew that the only way I was going to get back to the top and where I used to be is if I put in the time and I go hard and stop, you know, stop making it a joke and start taking a job, like taking it like a job, like start taking it serious. And that's the only thing that was on my mind was to get better, you know, fix my mistakes and keep learning and learning and try to be the best player I can be. So down the road, uh, we don't qualify again for season two. Uh, we got reverse comeback in the best of seven. We're up 3-0 versus H2K again. And you know, they won four maps in a row. We just couldn't keep composure. We just couldn't close out. And my world crumbled down again on me. And but at the time, you know, I was a really skillful player. Uh, before that, at UMG South Carolina, uh, Team Liquid uh, placed third slash fourth. So we got a really good placing. I was able to showcase my skill a little bit. A lot of pros were pretty impressed. And even online, you know, I've been shitting. I was shitting on them, and I was just doing really well against pretty much every pro. So I was pretty, you know, a lot of the players thought highly of me. They thought I was pretty good. And I, I figured, like, even though you know we got we we didn't make season two, I'm like, all right, there's no way. You know, nobody's going to pick me up. Later on, I ended up getting a couple offers, about three, four offers to join the league team. And the best one, in my opinion, was Envy. There there was a, two close ones, I think, Complexity or Envy. But at the end of the day, you know, I just love Envy, the organization. And they had a team of two, which was Slasher and J-Cap. And they were trying to pick up John. And I think just with those three, core three, I thought we'd be really good. So I decided to go to Envy. This was the opportunity of a lifetime, you know. I was so grateful to have this opportunity, you know, to make my comeback and just start, start kind of in a good position. And I knew I wasn't going to take it for granted. You know, the first week or two, I did slack a little bit. You know, I was still playing, but not, not usually as much as I play. And I wasn't doing too well. S&D was really inconsistent. So I started to grab my ass off, put in the time, and I started to get so much better. And, you know, when you get these opportunities, like, you never want to take, you never want to take anything for granted in life. You know, whether it's a job, whether it's school, whether it's a relationship, whether, you know, it's anything. You don't want to take it for granted. You Like, if you are blessed with an opportunity so amazing and, you know, in your eyes are like, wow, I don't, like, this is crazy. Like, holy shit. Like, you get blessed with an amazing job or something. You just get blessed, right? You don't, you don't, you should never take it for granted. 
Instead, you should put in the time, you should you should put in the effort, and, you know, make the best of it and try to try to do the best. So down the road, pretty much, we went we went season two playoffs. Uh, we went champs. You know, crazy craziest thing of my life. You know, I had this goal since the beginning of the game, since I was I wasn't even on the team. I made a video uh, when I was on like on Liquid. I made a video. You know, I always talked about how my goal this year is to win champs. I'm gonna try my heart out to win champs, and I literally gave it a hundred and like fifty percent at champs. Like some people could say here and bullshit, be like, yeah, I gave it my all. You know, I did them all. Yeah, you could give like a hundred percent, hundred ten percent, but when I'm telling you, I gave it a hundred fifty percent. Literally did everything in my power, you know, made sure my teammates slept, made sure my teammates were hydrated, made sure they, if they were hungry, they ate, you know, made sure I studied my opponents, made sure I was prepared as possible, made sure I fixed all my mistakes, made sure I tried to fix all my teammates' mistakes. Like, I literally gave it so much effort, and it was just, I was just on a mission, and I wanted to achieve this goal, this goal of mine that I've been having for years. And, you know, all that effort and all that work, it just paid off, and I did it, and, you know, my team did it, we did it. And it was just a surreal feeling. It was so amazing. And it's just, it's crazy how life changes, right? One one year ago, you know, I was pretty much teamless. I was basically a low tier pro, you know, barely had any money in my in my bank, you know, barely could, could live, you know, financially, you know, thankfully, you know, I got family and friends to support me, but uh, mainly family, obviously, but, you know, I, I barely had anything. I... Like all, only the stuff I've purchased from before event winnings and stuff, but I didn't have much, right? I just had my will, my power, you know, my fiance who's soon to be wife and in, in 10 days, you know, who supported me every day. And that's all I had. And I just had this mentality of not giving up and giving it my all. And I went from having, having zero, nothing, pretty much, obviously except the stuff I have in here, but like, you know, I mean, financially and you know, just just in general, like career-wise as well. I, I was a low-tier pro. Who was I? I was pretty much almost a nobody at that point of the game. And just to to just evolve, like go from zero to 100, you know, within a year time was honestly life-changing, but it, it, it wasn't easy, you know? Like there could there there's there was times where I felt like it, but there could have been many times where I just like you know what I'm gonna give up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop. You know there could have been times where it was just too stressful and, and I just couldn't take it anymore. There could have been times where you know I just didn't give it my all or decided to give it less effort or I just stopped caring. It could have been so many different things. And some people just you know crush under pressure. Some people just can't stand it. But you know I'm telling you guys now and I'm telling you this like I'm so grateful and just for every just to live every day and to to do what I do and to to be you know pretty successful right, successful right now like I'm I'm so grateful for it and I just want to let you guys know anything is possible you know you just, all you got to do is put your mind to it you just got to give it your all and when I mean your all I mean your all like don't half ass it you know work hard for what you want and you could achieve anything in life and when I mean everything I mean anything I mean almost literally anything things could change really quick for you just like how it did for me and obviously I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not saying it's going to be easy road. I'm not going to say there's going to be times where, you know, you, you don't want to give up because you're probably going to want to give up at some points. So I'm not going to say, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. You know, it's not rainbows and sunshines. It's hard work, determination, sweat, tears. You know, you got to have heart. You got to give your all and you could do it, man. You could truly do it. All I want to say is, man, it's been an amazing year. You know, I feel blessed every day. You know, the, the more stuff just got to keep getting better and better. You know, I feel blessed just to be alive. You know, life's, life is an amazing thing. But just overall, you know, thank you guys for all the support, you know, throughout the, all the hard times, the good times, the bad times, the easy times, the soft times, the long times, the short times, anything. Thank you guys for always being there and being awesome. You know, a lot of true supporters and true fans always have my back. A lot of you guys know who you are. You know, I don't even have to say your names. You guys know who you are. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for always being awesome. You know, thankful. I'm thankful for everything, man. Thankful. For every I'm thankful for everything in my life. Never take anything for granted. Like I said, you know, always work hard. This has been your boy Apti. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe too if you want. You know, I'm out.